Hi Aishwarya. What are you doing? Just scrolling through Isha's account. Did you check her recent post? Yeah, yeah, I saw her. She's doing a great job, man. Managing studies and her suits as well. Yeah, but she was looking tense. Hello friends. Class. Hey, you look tired. Yeah, there was a late night shoot last night. Also I'm having a pageant show in the evening today. Oh wow, that's great. You guys will be coming, right? It's time now guys. Let's go to the thermodynamics class or else we'll be late. Come on. You look so worried. I'm really worried about my academics. How would I manage? Don't worry. Everything will fall into place. Both the aspects of my life are totally different. What I'm doing and what I'm supposed to do is totally different. You really think so? We have elements of chemical engineering all around. See this book. The pulp and paper industry comprises companies that use wood as raw material. This glass, even your spectacles and the phone screen. Yes, even the production, application and the recycling of all these products are highly based on this branch of engineering called chemical engineering. Isha put down this umbrella. Rain has stopped. Thanks to this umbrella for saving me from this rain which has been going on from ages. Yeah, true. And did you know this umbrella is made up of polymer and it has very important and major role in textile industry. Also, its range are varying from fiber manufacturing, textile variation, textile coloration up to textile finishing. Hey Isha, is your makeup done? Yes, it's almost done. Ma'am, I'm just adding a bit of glitter for the final touch. You know it's my favorite part of the makeup as it adds up to my glamour. You know what? Many models around the world look into the mirror, open their eyes wide and brush glitter onto their faces. For many people, handing on the brush and painting it on their face is a part of their unconscious daily routine. But to a chemical engineer, it is much more than that. Let's talk to the professor about this. Sir. Good afternoon. Sir, Isha really wanted to know about the importance of glitters. Oh nice. It's good to see your enthusiasm. Let's know more about glitter and its production. Glitters are an assortment of small reflective particles that come in a variety of shapes, sizes and colors. Glitter particles reflect light at different angles causing the surface to sparkle or shimmer. It's similar to confetti and sparkle but somewhat smaller. Regular glitter is essentially plastic. Most glitter is made out of a combination of aluminium and polyethylene terephthalate, also known as PET. Also, some craft glitters are made from metal and glass. Modern glitter was invented in 1934 in New Jersey by an American cattle machinist named Henry Rushman. He designed a machine kind of combination of a paper shredder and a wood chipper that was able to grind plastic into glitter. Eventually, the raw material evolved into a clear polyester film or sheet layered with colouring and reflecting material using a rotary knife cutting system or shape press. Aluminium is the material that makes glitter reflective aka to sparkle. And this process by which aluminium is deposited on both sides of the film is called metallization. Afterward, these sheets are cut into the preferred size fine as dust or chunkier like confetti. With most glitter being made from etched aluminium bonded to PET, it translates into a million tiny beads of plastic scattered all over landfills and the oceans. Not a pretty picture, right? The problem with microplastic is that they make a huge impact on the marine ecosystems, even causing seabirds to chalk to death. Additionally, this problem won't be solved anytime soon, considering that the plastic film from which most glitter is made takes about 1000 years to biodegrade completely.